Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy A and today I am doing a special tag. I've seen a few people do it and I thought it was really kind of an interesting concept and it is what 10 items would I buy should for some reason all my makeup disappeared. Um, I, this is a very hypothetical situation <laughs> but I guess if I was starting from scratch I'm trying to look at it that way. What would I purchase? So, um, we're not counting primers, I hope, but I will mention that my eye primer would be, uh, this is the CoverGirl Lid Lock, and this is fairly new in the CoverGirl line. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer of all time. I have not found anything that I like better than this. Slightly tacky uh, after you put it on. Uh, it's a doe foot applicator. and you just do a couple swipes, you blend it in with your finger really well and it holds your eyeshadow all day long, no problems. It's fabulous. Um, I am also going to do, I'm going to do a low end and a high end for each of these 10 items just in case you can't afford the high end stuff. Um, this is the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, which is the, the white girl shade and this basically has a slight tint to it so if you have discoloration on your eyelids uh, this does cover it up if you're a medium to light skin person and I really like this a lot so that would be my other my high-end uh, eye primer uh, for a basic face primer I really just moisturize really well lately I'm using a new skincare um, resume and I'm pretty happy with that but I do use the uh, Smashbox and that is the primerizer <laughs> from Smashbox. I do like this very much. Um, I really don't have a low-end uh, primer that I use. I don't bother with it. For concealer, I'm really not doing concealers as often now. Um, I've tried a few things and right now I do think the Cargo, uh, this is the one base from Cargo. This is just a, a trial size that comes in a kit. There's a larger tube of it that you can get I think for around $18 at Kohl's. But this is uh, number one and what it is, it's, it's a concealer slash uh, foundation but it looks very nice under the eyes as a concealer. Blend it in. I don't have a low-end concealer that I like. I'm sorry about that. For um, redness prep, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know if it's really a concealer type thing, but this is the Bye Bye Redness. I just recently discovered this. I know it's been out for a while. I just haven't really wanted to use it. It comes in a couple of different tones. I've got the medium light tone, uh, light beige, I believe it's called. Just a little dabble do ya. Just like the, what was that, girl cream? <laughs> a little dabble do ya. Just tap it into whatever redness you have age spots. I like to use it around the lips um, and the darkness around my eyes and around my nose where you have all the broken capillaries from blowing your nose from years and years of colds and flu. And I think this works probably better than anything I've seen in a long time. So that is the uh, IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. So hands down the number one foundation I would run to and um, I could actually right now get rid of everything in my foundation collection and just keep this. This is the Derma Blend Creator Drops. And these are drops that you can use on their own or you can add them. Um, I've tried these with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Just put a little bit of primer in your hand and then just add a couple of drops to it. You just mix it up with a toothpick. And you would dot that all around your face. And you get a beautiful, flawless complexion. 
and using the moisturizer or primer with it really extends it out so it does a beautiful look uh, you can use it full strength four drops does your whole face and it's just amazing now I have dry skin and a lot of wrinkles I have some deep lines in my skin this is fabulous it works so well it is the best foundation I have used and I discovered it from Nady little little rascal there he's he's really funny he's known as pop lux on the, on youtube and uh, that is my favorite of all time foundation for low end foundation um that's still up in the air i like doing a lot of cc creams and bb creams and i just recently found one at ocean state job lot that was only like three dollars that i like but if i could if if i just had to buy one i would probably get this healthy mix from bourgeois. Now I have dry skin and wrinkles and lines and things and this doesn't seem to uh, be too bad with that. Some some foundations just are not good for people who have wrinkles and deep lines and you get a cake face look. You know, So that's my low end. For high end setting powder it is my um, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Under Eye Powder. I use it actually sparingly in other places besides the under eye. And, and I just get the sample, the smaller size, and that's really nice. For the uh, discount version, it is the ELF HD Powder. It works almost as well as the, as the Laura Mercier. So this is a great bargain if you see it anywhere. Um, for high-end, I really had a hard time with high-end um, face products because I, I'm so picky on this. But my contour, the only high-end contour I love is this one. And it's from Fenty Beauty. It is the um, Match Sticks. And this color is called Amber. And I, I love this. You just draw a little bit on the edges. You can blend it out. You can blend it here for the St. Bernard gel area. Boy, I tell you, the gels sure show up when you hit 60. Anyway, um, yeah, my favorite contour ever. I love this. It's wonderful. Uh, for blush, high-end blush, I would probably use the NARS. Um, and I've been using it a lot. This is the... Uh, bumpy Ride, it's called. I'm thinking Betty Davis, Bumpy Ride. It's going to be a bumpy ride. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. Keep my day job. Okay. And then for um, high end highlighter, I don't use one. I have found a low end one, and this is my only highlighter. It is the Master Chrome Molten Rose Gold from Maybelline. This came out um, fairly recently. This is a, a, a beautiful, natural looking, I don't know if you can see that, my camera's nutty, okay, I'm just going to put that on, you just get a very healthy, natural glow, it's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful, and it's, it's very inexpensive, and it's the perfect highlighter, it lasts all day, it looks beautiful on medium to light uh, skin tones. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. If it was one of my ten items, I would not go out and buy it. Yeah, this is the, uh, the Hourglass kit. Now this has, you know, the bronzer, it has the uh, blush, it has highlight, it has setting powder. Um, yeah, you could just pick this up and replace all your high-end stuff, but I actually like the individual things better. The low-end blush. Um, I do like the Essence, and this is the Satin Love Blush. I think it's around 3 or $4. Very, very pretty, and looks a lot, uh, a very natural look. For bronzer, I do like the Butter Bronzer from uh, Physician's Formula. If you can handle the gacky coconut smell that they have in these products, I don't know why they feel compelled to put coconut smell in things. Um, you know, my my pina colada, yeah, my eyeshadow, no. Speaking of, my eyeshadow palettes for high-end right now, I'm really on the fence about a lot of things. I do like my Busy Art. This is a large one. I would pick this up 
because it has such a variety of colors I could get a variety of looks and I know with the matte finish um, I can get you know all of my crease colors and my lid colors and everything this is just a marvelous uh, assortment I heard one young tube to YouTuber say she didn't like these shadows that they were a little too powdery for her um, and I have to disagree I have to say that they are just lovely they're pigmented and so finely milled that they blend and shear out really well they are the finest eyeshadows I've used in addition to the Viseart uh, matte palette here this is the Grand Pro volume 1 Besides that, I would get the uh, the smaller Viseart palette, and I would spend the money for this. This is the Bijou Royale, and this has all the shimmer shades for different colors. So you can just maybe complement your plain look from your Viseart with uh, some of these shimmers in here. And I think between those two, you really wouldn't need any other um, palettes to get you through. Now on the low end, you're going to be very surprised, and this is what my eyes are made of today with. This is Wet n Wild, <laughs> and this is the Nude Awakening palette from Wet n Wild. You can do a million eye looks from this, and it's a good basic beginner. If I was starting over, this would be my first palette. Absolutely. I should probably do a video again. I, I had a basic uh, makeup kit for older women, and uh, that video has had, you know, like 140,000 views, but it's um, so old. It's from like 2013. I didn't even do my brows back then. I didn't know anything about contour, but and it, and it glitches every few minutes. I, I glitch like uh, Max Headroom. <laughs> But people seem to still keep watching. It must come up a lot in, in sidelines or something. I don't know, but I, it's so embarrassing for me because it was so long ago. It was over five years ago that I did that, and I've learned a lot since then, and I use different products since then, and I think life's a little easier now in the makeup world. I don't know if you agree, but it seems like we know a lot more now than we did back then. This is just, I think, the best drugstore... Uh, eyeshadow kit there is. I mean you have your uh, I used this shade here this light shade for my lid color I used um, this shade down here for my crease transition I used uh, this darker shade up here for the corners and um, I used this shade here to line under my eyes with but this is just fabulous it's fabulous and I, th I think it's been bypassed by everybody Everybody kind of just went by the way, and I, I had it in my collection and wasn't even using it. And I was thinking, geez, maybe I should try this. You know, I just need a nice neutral palette. But these shadows are great, and they rival high-end shadows. So uh, the, the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening palette, and these are the new um, packaged ones. The formula, formulas are fine. I think they're great. But this is your good basic neutral palette, and you do need a good basic neutral palette for one of your ten items. I think I'm up to ten, not yet. For uh, brows, um, when I first started, I used the Anastasia, uh, the the brow pomade with the brush. You use the brush and then you use the spoolie to wing it out. And I do like this, but I actually prefer my low end choice, and it's a tie. This is the uh, Flower Beauty Brow. It's got a spoolie on one end, and it's got the, um, you know, you turn it up crayon on the other. It's a thick crayon, and I like that because you get your um, your eyebrows done quickly. <laughs> and I like quick. <laughs> I'm not so ritualistic in the morning. I'm putting my makeup on. I kind of want to slap it on. I look in my 10 by mirror just to make sure there's nothing all over my face. And I correct those things that are all over my face that I don't see in regular, in regular time. Um, but the flower brow brush and pen is just wonderful. It now is tied mm -hmm. with the Ulta brow tint. This is a wonderful thing. And what I like about it, and I use it with it, is it's a small brush, but it, it coats all those gray and white hairs that we have in our eyebrows. When we get older, we get all those 
you know, you just swish it through so it coats the eyebrow hairs. And then your eyebrows look instantly fuller because you know all those white and gray hairs are pretty annoying. And most of us were plucking them. Not a good idea, girls, because you're going to wind up with no brows if you keep plucking the white ones because everything's coming up gray. <laughs> everything's coming up gray. Mascara. Well, I had recently talked about this one. This is the Super Sizer Waterproof Mascara. And what I forgot to warn everybody about about this was that when you go to take it off, it's a nightmare. It's just a nightmare to take it off. I have to use, um, I use a cotton square soaked in baby oil and I pinch it over the lashes and pull it through and it pulls off most of it. Then I swish it and I use, um, I have another um, eye makeup remover from Kiko, which I guess Kiko's closing a lot of their American stores, but I use a Kiko um, eye makeup remover, but you do need something special for uh, removing this waterproof makeup. But this makes a really great, if you have a special event, um, vacation kind of thing going on, this is a great mascara for it. For every day though, um, I would not use the waterproof version. I would use the regular version. Now for my top pick, um, hands down my favorite mascara is, um, it came out from Cargo and it was in Kohl's and it was on sale and I only bought it because it was on sale and it is the uh, first order. It is a Star Wars, when they had the Star Wars makeup come out. This is a fabulous mascara and it doesn't leave things or smears or anything. It gives you big old honking lashes like I love. I don't know if it's one of Cargo's regular formulas and they just repackaged it to, you know, suit the Star Wars theme, but this is the first order mascara. Right now you can only find it in the clearance aisle at Kohl's. So because of that, I have an alternate here for high end. And that's Mally, um, more and more mascara. This is a great one. It does, it does, uh, it's humidity proof pretty much and it gives you a nice big lash. This one's easy to take off too, as is this one. So uh, those are my two choices for mascaras. Moving on, I don't use an eyeliner because I use my eyeshadow powders for eyeliner. You can use any of these. Just dip your little um, pencil brush into uh, a little bit of water and then just tap it into any of these and you will have a wonderful like a liquid eyeliner from your powder. So I don't buy eyeliner separately. Um, if I did, and I've used it many times with my false lashes, it is the uh, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And I like it because it doesn't splay out. You can control it. It gives a nice even line when you're working with it. And you can do a thin line or a thick line with it. And this is a favorite of many here on YouTube because it is so um, reliable. You know, it's nice to have a reliable product. So that is the, if, if I have to have an eyeliner, I do. Now for high-end lipstick, I just want something basic and then I can coat it with a, a gloss and it'll make it fancy. And of course it's Charlotte Tilbury. This is Bitch Perfect, which is a beautiful basic nude. You can use it um, day or night. It looks beautiful. And then you can add, and this is the Huda Beauty uh, lip strobe in Bougie, I believe. You just put this over the top of it and like it just it, it just zaps up any lipstick. So these two items would be definites. Now my drugstore pick for a lipstick is actually um, a new favorite of mine and I've bought several different colors of this. These are my two favorite colors but um, this is uh, the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour color it is on one side a lip tint, on the other side a lip balm. So you use the doe foot applicator. You hold your smile <laughs> for a couple of minutes like you're at a political rally or something or you're meeting your in-laws. <laughs> Once it has dried, and it usually takes a minute or two to dry, you go to the other end, and this is an important step because this is a long-lasting lip stain kind of 
a lip color, it's going to be a little dry on its own. So they gave you this lip balm on the other end. And you just swipe it over there, and I'm telling you, it feels like silk. It's wonderful. It lasts all day, and when it wears down, it will wear down evenly. So I think this is a great, phenomenal product from Maybelline of all places. This is actually better than many of my high-end items. And I have, um, I think this is Twisted Toffee, and this, this is number 105 Blush On, which is a very pretty uh, pink color. And this one is Twisted Toffee, I believe. I'm probably saying it wrong, but this is a basic everyday kind of color. Very, very pretty. What I'm wearing now. So these, these, any of these will work nicely for you. Some of the colors are a little better than others. The uh, uh, Ready Set is my favorite red in that group, and then there's another one as well. So this is a beautiful lip product. So I guarantee you, you will love this. Once you try it and see how long it lasts, it's just amazing. So that was my drugstore lipstick choice. As far as lip liners, I don't have any high-end lip liners. I did have Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk, which was my favorite, and I finally sharpened it down to the absolute roach clip nib. It was just down to here, and so it went out, and I was heartbroken. I did the whole, um, I'm really sorry to see you go thing. I didn't replace it. I just got the Rimmel, um, this is Rose Quartz Rimmel, which is a very pretty um, lip liner. Very basic lip color if you're a medium to light skin person. And then I also got a red one from NYX. And I think what it's nice about that is I can actually coat my whole lips with that red and then put the lipstick over the top and create my own color. So I think you can do that creatively with your lip liners, alter your lipstick colors, and also um, you could use the lip liners with some gloss over the top and create your own new lip color. So I think that's a great idea. I do not have a low-end lip gloss. I couldn't find any that... Um, the Katie Cat ones are really, really sticky, and they weren't pigmented enough for me, so I thought, no, I'm not going to bother with it. So, that is my 10 or 11 or 12 items, both cheapy and high-end, that I feel I would run out and buy to replace makeup that was stolen or lost on the plane or um, stolen by the little kid upstairs. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I think it was a great tag, and um, if you haven't done this yet and you are a YouTube creator, I do uh, encourage you to do this tag. I love watching other people, so I've been enjoying um, this, and um, I hope all of you are having a wonderful week, and have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.